Package. You, you look beautiful. Oh, thank you, Carrie. I am so looking forward to tonight. There's nothing more exciting than a live show. Yeah, last live show Doug took me to it was two guys fighting in a cage. <laughs> oh, no, you're not wearing that train hat to the theater. I can't go. What? I what just got mean? a call from the convention center. They're assigning the table locations tonight, not in the morning. So? So, if I don't get down there ASAP, I'll be way in the back with all those monorail freaks. But Dougie bought those tickets. Hey, the grand conductor makes the assignments, not me. I'm sorry, I gotta go. I'm sorry, Janet. Don't be. Who needs him? Hey, maybe you'll come with me. We could do a girls' night out. Oh, I wish I could, but I have all this work. Oh, yeah, of course, you work. Hey, you know what? There's no law against a woman going to the theater by herself. I'll just, uh, I'll do it, and, and, and it'll be better, you know? Because I won't have to fight with Joe for the armrest. Yeah, there you go. So I'm just gonna go get my bag. Hey, Dad. You're home early. Tough night at the senior center. I had to flip the checkerboard in a fit of rage earlier than usual. <laughs> I take it the Duke and Duchess of Fort Lauderdale have arrived. Yes. Why do you have such a problem with Doug's parents? I can't take their constant bragging. Oh, we save for our retirement. I'm bourgeois. <laughs> Goulet's in town? Yeah. Hey, why don't you go with Janet? Me? Yeah. Joe can't go, and I have all this work I have to do, but it really help everyone out if you would take her. What do you say? No possible, senorita. <laughs> Come on, please. How can I say no to my little girl? Ten bucks plus expenses. <laughs> Subway fare, three dollars. Two knishes, four dollars. <laughs> Janet, how much was that program? Oh, these are free. Uh-huh. One commemorative program, twelve dollars, ninety-five cents. <laughs> It was so nice of you to come with me, Arthur. My pleasure. Carry the one. It's a beautiful theater. Last time I was here, I was a young socialist dreamer taking in the opening night of a Clifford Odette's musical. I believe it was called Johnny Wants a Living Wage. But I don't want to bore you. Oh, it's not boring at all. I love the theater. I can never get Joe to come, let alone talk about it. So please, go on. Well, it was a marvelous play, almost Brechtian, with a sassy hint of old-time burlesque. Closed that night. My, how fascinating. You want fascinating? Have I ever told you about the night I pumped Helen Hayes' stomach? <laughs> Spooner does not disappear. Well, thank you again for a lovely evening. Thank you, my lady. Hello, Douglas. 